evaluating limits. So, limit of x squared plus x plus 4 squared as x approaches 2. So, it is distributive to siya. Ay, hindi walang distributive substitution ng values. Hindi yung x magiging 2 kasi x approaches 2. Tapos... Oy, Frank Joshua. Ano ba ang pinagkakabalaan mo? Eh sir, sa dito po, evaluating limits po yung topic namin. Ano? Eh, evaluating limits ang topic nyo, yung nagawa ko na ng vlog. Siguro dapat mas maganda, panawal mo na lang yung vlog ko. Eh so, sige sir, para matapos ko na to, sir, tagal ko lang di matapos. Oo, oh, tara. tara Sasabayan kita. Tara. Ang bilis natin sir, ha? Oo oh, nga. So, ayun na, manawit ka na. Okay sir. Ayan, so ngayon, tuturuan natin si Joshua na mag-evaluate ng limits of a function at i-apply natin ngayon yung mga natutunan ninyo sa limit theorems. So, if you are not yet watching the video, yung aking vlog number 3 tungkol sa limit theorem, so better yet, pag panoorin nyo muna yung video na yon para mas maunawaan ninyo ang topic na ito. Today, we are going to discuss the limit of polynomial function limit of rational function, and the limit of radical function. Okay, but this time, let's make it shorter. Nung nakaraan, medyo long method yung tinuro ko sa inyo. Bakit kailangan ituro ng mga teachers ang long method bago nila ituro yung mga shortcut? Naalala ko tuloy yung kwento ng dalawang magkaibigan, si Boom Boom at saka si Pao. Si Boom Boom ay napakahilig sa shortcut. Si Pao naman, ay okay lang sa kanya yung mahabang lakarin. So isang araw, nagpunta sila sa isang lugar na kung saan napakalayo na pinuntahan nila. Si Boom Boom natamad maglakad ay pagod na pagod. Kaya nung sumunod na araw na pinuntahan nila ulit yung lugar na yon, siya naman ay naghanap ng shortcut. Hindi niya minaster muna, hindi niya muna minemorize yung tamang daan kung paano pumunta doon. At syempre, nakahanap si Boom Boom ng shortcut para doon. Sa nga raw, nagpunta ulit sila, pero maghahiwalay sila nagpunta. Si, si Pao ay pinili niyo mas mahabang daan. At si Boom Boom naman ay piniling daanan ng kanyang shortcut. Kaya lang, nung pauwi na sila, yung shortcut ni Boom Boom ay sinarado na at hindi na siya makadaan. So, hindi na niya alam kung paano siya babalik doon sa tama niyang pupuntan or pa-uwi. Hindi na niya alam kung paano siya uwi. So, that's one of the very reason bakit kailangan ituro muna ng teacher ang mga long method bago nila ituro ang shortcut. Kung shortcut agad ang itinuro, so paano siya babalik? Paano niya alamin kung ano nakalimut nakalimutan niya ang shortcut? So, hindi na niya alam kung saan siya babalik. Hindi na niya alam kung paano niya babalikan yung lesson. So, yun yung mga common mistakes ng mga estudyante. So, kung itinuturo ng mga teachers ninyo ay uh, mga long method, so, be it, okay lang yun. Dahil gusto nilang matutun matutunan muna ninyo yung tamang paraan and then later on na yung shortcut kapag master na master na ninyo yung uh, long method. Okay? So, ngayon, pasok na tayo. pag natin ang limits or evaluating limits of a function. Hi everyone! So ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang limit of polynomial function. And pasensya na sa boses ko, medyo minamalat lamang dahil katatapos lang ng celebration ng World Teachers Month, opening ng World Teachers Month ng Pililia National High School. At masyado ako nag-enjoy. By the way, shout out kay Mark J ng grade 11 diamond so masyado mo akong pinasaya kaya ako minamalat ngayon but anyway, let us uh, continue so let's say we have uh, the fun uh, let f be a polynomial function of the form a f of x is equal to a sub n x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 blah 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 to a sub 0 O, ito po yung uh, form ng isang polynomial function. Okay? If C 
is any real number. Pag sinabing real number is kahit na anong number na maisip mo. Maliban lamang sa mga imaginary numbers at yung mga, na, mga undefined. Then, the limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to f of c. So, this is the rule says. Ibig sabihin lang nun, uh, para hindi na mawindang masyado yung isip mo, to evaluate a limit of a polynomial function, para ka lang nag evaluate ng function. Naalala nyo pa yung topic ng evaluation of function. Now, kung hindi pa, please watch my video. Itong video na to, lalagay ko sa link sa baba para mapanood ninyo yung evaluating function. Pero madali lang naman siyang hanapin. Okay? Bago nyo panoorin itong video na to, panoorin nyo muna yung uh, evaluating functions ko na Tagalog version. Okay? Ngayon, para mas maunawaan mo ito ng mas malinaw, example tayo. Wait. And so, let's have this example. The limit of 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So now, um, this is an example of a polynomial function. Okay? So, to be able to evaluate this kind of limit, um, simply lang naman. So, we are just like evaluating functions. Okay? But before that, i-explain ko lang na yung nakaraan kong video about uh, the limit theorems, uh, that's the proper way of evaluating limits. But now, uh, we are going to make it a lot, mo a lot more shorter and uh, uh, easier para mas mabilis tayong makapag-compute. Okay? Siyempre, ang gusto natin ay makapag-compute na mas mabilis. Okay? So, let's say we have this limit. So, ang gagawin lang natin, isa-substitute lang natin yung x na negative 1 sa lahat ng x's dito. Okay? And then, ipe-perform natin yung operation. So, let's start. So, we have 2 times negative 1 cube minus 4 times negative 1 squared plus 1. Then simplify. We have 2. Negative 1 cube is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Diyan nagkakamali ang maraming estudyante. So, this is negative 1 minus negative 1 squared. Ito yun. Negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to 1. So, this is 4. 4 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Ne, uh, minus 4 times 1 is 4 minus 4 plus 1 is equal to negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5 ayan so that means the limit of 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 1 as x approaches negative 1 is negative 5 so ganun lang siya kadali Okay, so hindi, na, hindi ko na kayo bibigyan ng isa pa example kasi uh, madali lang ito. So next tayo. Ganun lang pala yun. Para ka lang nag-evaluate ng mga functions. example, we have the limit of 1 minus 5x over 1 plus 3x squared plus 4x to the fourth as x approaches 1. Okay, so, isa siyang rational function. The numerator is a polynomial function. The denominator is also a polynomial function. Okay? And to evaluate that, we have to um, evaluate yung numerator. I-evaluate din natin yung denominator. Okay? So, magiging Paano mag-evaluate? Substitute lang natin yung 1 sa lahat na makikita mong x. So, 
this will become 1 minus 5 times 1 1 plus 3 times ano yung x? 1 squared plus 4 times 1 to the 4th is equal to simplify 1 minus 5 times 1 is 5, di ba? So, 1 minus 5 over 1 plus 1 squared, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So, 1, so 3. Plus 1 to the 4th power is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Times 1 is 1. Times 1 is 1. So, 1 pa rin. So, maging 1, ang sagot dito, times 4 is equal to 4. Is equal to 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Over 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Plus 4 is equal to 8. We have negative 4 over 8 here. Pero kailangan natin siyang i-lowest term. So, ang lowest term nito, ang common factor is 4. So, divide natin yung numerator sa 4. So, may ging negative 1 over 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, negative 1 half. Pwede rin natin siya ang sulat na negative sa gitna tapos 1 half. It's just the same. Therefore, the limit of 1 minus 5x over 1 plus 3x squared plus 4x to the 4th as x approaches 1 is equal to negative 1 half. Okay? Ah, ganun lang pala yun. Para ka lang nag-evaluate ng rational functions. Isa substitute mo lang ang value ng x. Sa ating pangatlong i-discuss ay ang limit of radical function. Hindi lang ako sure dun sa term na radical function pero ay, nakakita ako ng aklat na ang nakasulat ay radical function. So, I think legit naman yung radical functions. So, to evaluate the limit of a radical function, we are just going to use the radical rule doon sa limit theorem na idiniscuss ko nung nakaraan sa vlog number 3. Now, if you are not yet watching that uh, uh, vlog, so, panoorin nyo po muna para mas maunawaan ninyo ito. Okay? So, ang sinasabi rito is the limit of the nth root of f of x as x approaches c is equal to the nth root of l. Wherein, ah, uh, Kaila, ano yung L? Kailangan lang nating ikunin yung limit nung nasa loob ng radical sign. Then that's equal to L. And then kukunin natin yung root noong uh, L. Okay? Provided that N is a positive integer and L must be greater than or equal to 0. Kasi pag nag-negative ang L, hindi na siya pwede. But there are some cases na pwede na, na maging negative yung nasa loob. There are cases na hindi pwede. So, some example na pwede mag-negative sa loob is the cube root of negative 8. The cube root of negative 8 is equal to negative 2. Paano nangyari yun? So, that's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So, this is positive 4. This is negative 8. So, kaya ang cube root ang cube root ni negative 8 is equal to negative 2. Example, para mas madali. Parang tayong tatlong example. Number 1, the limit of the square root of x as x approaches 1. So, sabi ko kanina, uh, i-evaluate lang natin yung limit na nasa loob ng radical sign. So, to evaluate, isa-substitute lang natin yung x. So, this will become square root of 1. 
Kasi ang x natin lang, x lang naman yun. Then, the square root of 1 is, of course, 1. Therefore, the limit of square root of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. The second example, we have the limit of x, the square root of x plus 4 as x approaches 0. So, ganun lang din. Evaluate natin. So, that will be 0 plus 4 is equal to square root of 4 is equal to, ano ba square root of 4? No, Manghirap naman ito. That's 2. So, next, we have the limit of the cube root. Ito, cube root of x squared plus 3x minus 6 as x approaches negative 2. So, ganun lang din. Substitute lang natin. So, we have the cube root of x squared. Ano ba yung x natin? Negative 2. So, this will become negative 2 squared plus 3 plus 3 times negative 2 minus 6 o oh, lumabas Ayan. is equal to simplify ulit natin we have the cube root of negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2 so magiging ano siya positive 4 plus 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 negative 6 minus 6 oh, lumabas ulit is equal to the cube root of 4 plus negative 6 minus 6 so dahil para sa man itong minus negative so ne negative 12 yan so negative 12 minus 4 is negative 8 ayan, nakita ko yung kanina so, the cube root of negative 8 ay equal sa negative 2. In-explain ko niya kanina. Sana nakinig ka. So, the limit of the cube root of x squared plus 3x minus 6 as x approaches negative 2 is negative 2. Okay? Ah, ganun lang pala yun. Para ka lang nag evaluate ng mga radical functions, ang gagawin mo lang ay isa-substitute mo mga values ng x. Oh, kamusta? Okay ka na? Okay na sir, madali lang pala yun. Oh, sige, di balik na ito sa school. Ah, oh, sige sir, tara. Oh, oh, ano, gets mo na? Sir, sobrang gets na gets ko na. Kasi yung sa evaluating of limits, substitutions lang pala yun ng mga values ng x. So, pag nasagot ko na ito, kakuha ko ako na. So, kayang-kaya mo na yan gawin, ha? Opo sir, 100% sure na sure. Okay, sige, next time ulit. Okay sir. <laughs>